Welcome, Natalie and Jim. Uh, I'm Colleen Doak. I'm teaching the epidemiology course this term, and I'm posting this video to introduce myself in case you haven't already met me and give a brief overview of the course structure. You can see my contact information from the instructor profile. So if you go under instru instructor profile on the left and click on that, you can see all the information you need, my email address, phone, uh, office number, and you can also make an appointment by directly clicking on my personal link that will go straight into my Google Calendar and you can create an appointment on a time that is not marked as busy. I wanted to focus on the overview of the course schedule with the specific due dates that relate to specifically relate to the summer term. So um, in this video I'm just going to focus on if you go under announcements and you open that, you're going to see an overview of the course schedule. This is the whole eight-week schedule, and you'll see for every week there are uh, discussion posts that are due. So this week, your first discussion post isn't due until Friday, and then next Tuesday you'll be replying to each other. Now in this case, I've, I've marked it as reply to two peers because in general there will be two peers, but if it's just the two of you, two of you, you just reply to each other. But try to uh, go back and forth a couple of times just to get make up in depth what you don't have in terms of breadth of input from others. So the first two weeks will be some general background and some of the discussion questions will relate to study design and some of the questions will be relate to analysis that you're going to be doing hands on in the last part of the semester. So I just wanted to clarify to you that there are those two different outputs that we're working towards. So your first assignment is due in week three, and that's a causality assignment, and that's going to be focused around um, causality in relation to the research question that you have for your study design. Um, so a lot of the questions uh, in the first weeks will focus a little bit more on the study design in relation to causality. And then at the end of week four, you will have a proposal for a study design. So those are assignments that are formatted, and you can find those under assignments uh, for module three and module four. In addition, in week one, so this week and in week three, I'm going to be talking to you about topics, not just for your study design, which is very open and is really focused on things that would be related to your I APE or ILE topic. Um, something that you're very passionate about, and it can be any topic at all in epidemiology. In um, the last part of the semester, we're going to focus on data analysis, and that's going to be limited by existing data. So I'm going to sort of meet with you and brainstorm about different topic ideas so that I can start looking for data sets that fit both of your interests so that you can explore different questions, but on a data set that's similar enough that you can both share information about the population you're looking at. So in week three, I'm going to want to finalize that decision. So I'll get your input in week one and in week three, we should have data sets up and ready to go. So by the time you start on the analysis phase, uh, which is really the focus of week five through eight intensively, uh, you already have your data identified. I'm really looking forward to teaching you this term and I just wanted to post this introductory video so that you can get a sense of what the due dates are, uh, what the course structure is like, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a sense of what this semester will be about. Of course uh, there will be more information posted shortly about the general overview of the Blackboard site, the different modules, and how to approach the course. Uh, but this is a video I wanted to give for the two of you to give you a sense of what the course is going to look like for you this summer, summer term and how to address the fact that there are just two of you. I think that we'll have an interesting and productive session. Uh, I hope that we can find data that you both find interesting and that you can explore your questions uh, and apply those to epidemiology in this class. I look forward to meeting you.